Here we are with Commander Chaos himself. <laughs> right, so I'll flip you over. Job here. Get your big mitts out of the way, mate. Um, these uh, cables were chopped short because of some vandalism. The site's been open for a long time and we're just uh, in the process of sorting them out. So we've megged everything. We've got one that's got a Earth active fault. So that one obviously we can't test, but we've got our plans from years ago when we did the slab deck work here. So it's pretty faded and dim. So we're just trying to, we're just liven them and up. Most of the fittings downstairs have been fit off. The boys did a fair bit of work downstairs before this job got scuttled. So we're just uh, giving them a little liven up just to see what comes on and try and identify the circuits. I'm back with the actual correct plan. So our switchboards are, where are we here, Has Lift shaft. Lift shaft's behind us. So we're here somewhere, aren't we? Is that right? Well, that is it. No, that's the room. That's the lift shaft there. That's that lift shaft. I think the board is, yeah. Yeah, so we're here somewhere. We're here somewhere on the level above this level. So, as you can see, they've, um, they're coming off that center, that little um, symbol there, the arrow, typically um, in our company at least, just means that's a feedback to the board. So that should be our first point on this particular light. So we're just going through them one at a time. We've identified CB31 and 27. Both of those have lights in, but they don't have the sensors in downstairs. So. There's um, potentially some live cables, but no one's down there at the moment, so we're just putting them on for a second and then turning them off. Dodgy! Middle name. <laughs> right, so I'll uh, go downstairs. Az can turn them on one at a time, and we'll do some identifications. Right. And the setup we are using is the humble suicide lead. So we've just got that hooked up into some Vargos. Right. So the setup that we use for these, just while I'm here as well, is um, running three phase cable or building wires in slab work is typically how we roll. But what this what this lets us do is have like obviously an earth with a neutral, uh, a switched wire. So that would typically be the light, the cable that will run into the fittings. We use the blue as an emergency active for any emergency lights down there. And then we have a hard active red cable for that circuit as well. So if someone needs to tap off down the track, all the options of the cables are in fed down. And from, from this point, we use like a five core cable. But once we're down in the deck work, we just use building wire because you only need single insulation and conduits. la dee da down in the basement now. Um, Aaron's just hooked up um, just hooked up one of the circuits and we've obviously got a bunch of lights on here. So what he's doing is uh, wagoing all the active cables together. So any sort of switching nonsense that we've got down here um, in regards to sensors, we're bypassing that at the moment by doing the wago up there. So obviously that's these ones. I'm gonna look on the plan now on my phone and I'm going to tell him what circuit it is. He can label the cable up there and then when we get to the point where we're going to join them all up in the board, we can do that. So we'll just have to put a junction box because they're quite cut wide. We'll put a junction box and then run a new set of tails up into the switchboard when we get to that. All right, so there's some lights down here and this section down here is the real, like it's the dimmest part because you don't get much natural light in there. So if we can, um, what we'll do now, we'll go through the circuit, make sure there's no um, cables hanging out anywhere um, for like motion detectors or any of that sort of jazz. And we'll probably try and leave this circuit on as like a temporary, a temporary lighting circuit down in the basement. Cause I mean, you don't need too much light down that end cause you've got like roundabout natural light, but down here, you see as we just turned it off, it's pretty, pretty dark. And this is like middle of the day as well. So early in the morning, it's pitch black down there. So yeah, moving on. Just plug. Is there anything outside or 
I don't know, mate. Oh, I was over there. I wouldn't have seen. I would have seen it. I walked over that way. I might just have to F set some of them. Yeah, so I think um, we've gotten we've gotten pretty lucky this far. Seeing the circuits come on as, as weird. Because um, I might show you. I'll show you. So um. So, like this room, for instance, I'll show you behind. So we've got the light there, um, but then there's a motion detector here. Right, so we're lucky. We're lucky to have that light come on to identify this circuit. But that motion detector is obviously looped through at the moment, but there's a bit of tape, a bit of tape on there. And then that circuit actually goes through there, through those doors and lights up those dim rooms so we'll have to check that um we'll have to uh, just temporarily join that motion detector cables up just to get the rest of the lights on because it's obviously stopping the, the feed getting through the rest of the circuit but yeah we're just walking walking through it one at a time um we just just tried one then and it didn't um it didn't light anything up so our next option is to probably yeah, probably just use like the F-set uh, tone generator, different, they call them F-set here, but we'll have to try that and see if we can uh, like identify the cables that way, because I'm not sure how else to do it, but the conduits up there aren't identified and like I said, the, the cables have been cut off like long ago and to be honest, over a couple of years, like permanent market doesn't really stay on cables in my experience. I strip all of the cabling out of the top floor of this building because you know, the windows weren't in, the birds had come in and they were munching on the cable, it was, it was pretty bad. It was... Right, so one of these circuits had a pretty low... One of these circuits had a pretty low resistance, uh, insulation resistance. Oh, I saw it, I saw it pop. <laughs> That's where it popped up in there, so they've obviously cut through the cable. Do you want to just, um, can you just reset the breaker and do it again? I'll see if I get it on camera. Yeah, just reset the RCD and flick it on again. See if I can get this for you guys. I'm doing seven now. Oh, can you, can you hit that one again? Uh, six was tricky. Yeah, I know, can you do it again? I saw a pop, I just want to get it on cam. I've already got seven wired up, can we just come back to it? Yeah, okay. Cable. Oh yeah, there we go. Now these lights down here are on. So those lights down there. I'll put the plan on the screen so you guys can see and I'll, I'll maybe just circle it so you know what I'm doing. All right, so got number six. All right, so this is this one's got a fault on it, a big fault on it, and it's fucking cool. Hold it. All right, ready? Aaron, go! Oh, initially, I saw I saw a pop at this hole. I thought it was, but um, so when we turned it on and it's popped, it's obviously sorted out whatever's. Um, issue but it's actually in there you can see the the jacket of the cable there so I reckon when we um, turned it on before and it's popped it's um, just arced just enough to clear off the um, you know clear off the small amount of copper that was in between the cores so I'll get a I'll get a shot from this from above because this is a bathroom there's obviously <laughs> I mean that was incorrectly drilled and it was supposed to be here so it's Fucked us over royally. I know we'd have backcharged these cunts. Alright, here's the um here's the issue. Focus you fuck. There it is. That's the problem. So that little guy is supposed to just join up there. Fucking light. I'll turn this on actually, that's probably better. Oh, so there's a few conduits in there that they've uh they've nailed, unfortunately. 
So hopefully what we can do here though is pull pull a little bit out from that way and um, like if we can get a bit of slack and maybe we can just um, do a join in here. I wonder if they're going to refill it. So we, yeah, so maybe the concreter can do something and we'll fill this hole in or chip it out or I don't know. I'll have to have a think about it, see how we can fix it. Let's give you a little push, mate. <laughs> That's deep. So we're back here at the scene of the crime. Uh, probably get the keyboard warrior hate on this one, but you know, that would have taken us, you know, probably a couple of days to work out if we didn't just flick the circuits on and test them. So it's one of those things, mate. It's a, it's a slight risk there, but you know, at, at the end of the day, there's no one down in that basement area. And, um, I made the call as the guy on site making the calls and that's just how we did it and look we got it sorted out in a couple of hours and it could have taken a couple of days so you know um very low risk but pretty big reward time wise so it's one of those things cheers guys have a good one